it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. Alright, welcome back for another week. This week will be a little bit easier, a little more static, potentially. Um, focus on some stretching. Have some water, practice at your own risk, move within your abilities, and let's see what happens. Let's come to our hands and knees tabletop position. And we'll just work on flattening our feet and then tucking our toes. We'll add a little bit of a rock to this. Get a little stretch at the top of the feet into the balls of the feet. With the tops of our feet to the mat, we'll start to sit back, adding some weight to our feet. And you can come on up if that feels comfortable, or stop along the way. Whatever's working for you. Then we'll come up, we'll tuck the toes, and we'll push back. As we push back, we'll engage the feet, and we'll lift the knees up just ever so slightly. This side, toes engaged, and we'll push back. Still bring my hips towards my heels, pressing strong through the arms, and then we'll come out. From here, let's take our right leg, and we'll step it up outside the left hand. Or right hand, try mirror. Then we'll just come up to a lunge. Inhale the arms up and we'll pull the elbows down wide into a T. Let's inhale up and elbows down. Inhaling up and elbows down. Place the hands back to the mat inside the leg and we'll switch sides. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, down. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Good. Hands come down. We'll step our foot back. And let's lower to our chest. We'll go knees, chest, chin. So I keep my knees where they're at. I'm going to bend my elbows. Chest and chin towards the floor, butt stays lifted. Let's slide forward, peeling up to a little cobra. And we'll press up back towards a child's pose. And we'll cycle through that. We'll go to tabletop, hands and knees. Knees, chest and chin. So chin comes down, chest comes down, butt's lifted. Slide through. And we'll peel our way up. Floating forward, coming down, sliding through. Two more. Up, knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Slide through, and back. Coming up, knees, chest, chin. Coming forward and back. While we're here, let's take our right arm up towards the ceiling and thread it through. Right ear towards the floor, looking through the armpit, threading the needle. And we'll unwind with the twist, swing that arm forward, and we'll switch sides and thread it through.
Coming back to that little twist and swim forward. Let's shift forward. We'll come all the way down to our bellies. I'm going to reach the left arm long, bend the right foot. My right hand is like a push up at my chest, and my right foot's going to step over the left, coming in for a little twist. Coming back to center, switching arms, right arm long, left arm by my side, left foot up, and stepping over. Back to center, let's do one more each side. Switch arms, and step. Back to center, arm switch, leg switch, stepping over. Good. Coming back to center, we'll switch once more. This time, as we come over, we'll roll all the way to our backs. And we're going to crawl, shoulder crawl. So like a backstroke in swimming, my arms are going to stay in. I'm going to reach with my right shoulder and then my left shoulder. I slightly elevate my hips to move. I'm at the limit of our screen time. I'm going to rotational rock. So hips up, shoulders up, turn around. Then we're going to crawl back. Same thing, like that backstroke. Reach with the shoulder, reach with the shoulder. And the heels and the feet come with you. Tuck and rotational rock. And we'll switch. Boom. And rock. Space. Good. One last crawl. Crawl to the middle of your space. Bring your knees into our chest. And just like a little egg, we'll massage the lower back into the mat. Building a little momentum. Maybe the feet tap. And back. Don't slam your head. So chin's tucked. And coming up. We'll pause this top here, reaching forward and lifting the arms up. Let's sway the knees to the left, coming to that side bend sit. Then we'll come back to center, arms up, round chin tucks, and back up to center. Knees to the right this time, and back to center, tucking in. Rocking back. This time we're coming to our crisscross applesauce, crossing the ankles. We'll rock up and reach. And coming down. We'll switch that cross and come up and reach. One more each side. So switch and come up. Switch and come up. Go come back to our little egg. Wrapping up to our bent sit knees towards the ceiling. Arms lift. We'll sway to the left. To center. And to the right. And back to center. Rocking back. And we'll do the same thing in reverse. Sway to the right. And sway to the left. Back to center, and rock back. Rock up into a figure four, or half butterfly. I'm gonna go left side down, right side up. We'll rock, and we'll switch sides. One knee to the ceiling, one knee to the side. Good. 
Good. The next time your left knee finds the floor, we're going to reach the left hand to the left. We're going to lift the hips up and come back down. We'll switch. Same side of the knee that's down goes to the hand. And I'm projecting the hips forward and coming down. Hips lift and shift. One more each side. Bop. Bop. Good. This time as we rock up, left knee to the side. Instead of lifting my hips over, I'm going to try to lift and come through. So it's the same hip lift idea, but I'm going to pull through the front leg that's extended. I'm also pressing into the floor to come up and over. I'm going to try and iron out any kinks so you're not slamming into the ground as you come back. Good. On the next one with the left knee to the side, we're going to pause at the top, windshield wipe that left leg to the back, and we'll come down into a low lunge. Feel free to adjust your stance as needed. I'm just melting my hips towards the floor. I'm going to tuck my chin a little. Try to imagine a straight line from my head to my knee. And then for fun, I'm going to windshield wiper that knee. That's going to start to turn me in the direction to that left. We'll windshield wiper the right knee down and the left knee comes up. And I'll adjust to low lunge to the back. Okay, we'll come back to the front. Right knee comes down, or left knee comes down. Right knee comes up. I'll find my low lunge. And then a windshield wiper to rock back. So again, I'm gonna slide back. And I'm gonna rock and shift. Driving up. Left leg forward, low lunge. Again, I'm driving my hips forward and tuck my chin a little bit. And then we'll do that same windshield wiper action. So my front knee, as the back comes in, front knee goes down, back leg comes up, and I'll adjust into my lunge. Windshield wiper, that starts me turning. Knee comes down and I open up, framing the foot. Let's walk that one more time right here. Windshield wiper, knee comes down, other knee comes up. I'm gonna adjust, low lunge. And reverse, windshield wiper. Coming through center, both the knees down, other side up, right in the foot. And we'll come back to that rock. So windshield wiper, melting to the floor, check your surroundings, and we'll switch. Let's, instead of coming through that full lunge, we'll come up, bring the knees to meet, and then pivot to the back. Then, 
we'll rock back and do the same. So now I switch sides, I'm gonna rock, switch sides. Bringing my top knee to meet the left, other knee comes up with a melt and rock. Knees to meet and rock. to meet and rock. And if you're like me and you're finding yourself running into some stuff, scoot and switch. Knees to meet. So I need space behind me. I'm going to plant, slide forward, and then rock. Switch. Plant, slide the feet to meet, and switch. So because that side ends up working the same over and over, we're just going to reverse and come up with the right leg down, the left leg up for me. So I'll use this moment to rock back and switch. Coming up, knee down, knee up. Minimizing my need for space, I slide in and switch. Coming up. Knee, knee, hand. Bring the feet together and switch. Well, I cheated on that one. Rocking up, figure four on the other side, knees, one knee up, baseball slide, and switch. Now we can go a little quicker. our heads and we'll work our tripod or basket. If you have a preference and you're comfortable with one over the other, choose the one you like and let's do that. So using what we did earlier, kind of that uh, child's pose, rocking, knees, chest, chin, let's build some pieces to come up onto our heads. So from our tabletop, I'm going to shift my hips back, kind of like a child's pose. I'm going to shift forward. Let's add a little cobra here, so don't go too crazy. Just find where you can dip your hips. Find a level that you like without moving your hands. This time as I come back, I'm going to bring my hands to my feet. I imagine knees, chest, chin, but I'm going to tuck my chin and plant the top of my head. Pressing through the hands, I'm going to extend the legs. We'll come down, we'll come back, slide into that child's pose, shifting forward into our cobra. Let's do this, I don't know, four times. Sliding back. And adjust my hands, elbows hug in, not face planting, and I'm going to tip. So I'm not soft through the body, I'm pointing my butt at the ceiling, creating lift. Coming back, and we'll melt down, shifting forward, and shifting back. Hands come in, head goes out, 
knees lift. Sliding down, shifting forward, hinging at the shoulders, at the hips, sending it back. Hands come in, seesawing my way down, we'll lift through the hips. One more. Shift. Shift back. Plant the head. Lift the hips. Good. If that's your limit of comfort, we're going to continue there. If that's, if you're like, eh, let's try some more. We're going to start to pick up one foot at a time here. So same routine. We'll move a little bit quicker, but same idea. Child's pose. Cobra. This time, instead of sliding back and coming down, I'm going to just slide my hands in. Head, legs extend, right leg in. Coming down, pressing back. Child's. Cobra, sitting back, head down, legs extend, opposite leg comes up. Got a little excited on that one. And coming down. Shifting forward. Coming into my seated position. Head down, legs up, right leg tucked. So I'm really squeezing that heel to my butt. My left toe starts to lift a little bit because I'm driving and punching up. Strong through the core, abs, the neck, and my butt and hips are lifting. Good. This time, if you're feeling good with that, you could stay there. Otherwise, whoops, wrong button. All right, you could stay there. Otherwise, we're gonna bring both feet up and hold for a second in a little eggshell. The keys are to be on the top of your head, not the front and not the back. And to drive your hips up so you're lifting elongating through your spine instead of just falling down. So both feet up this time. Child's pose. Shifting to our cobra. If you're like, I've had enough, skip on any part you want. Coming back as I come back, I'm adjusting, creating my base. I dip my head. The top of my head is there. I have to work to stack my hips over my shoulders. You can go one leg, two legs. And I'm going to lift my hips. And I'm going to come down. And cycle through our little flow. So this is another reason why I like to tuck my chin and cobra here. I'm not doing this. I'm kind of feeling that same alignment from my head to my hips in my cobra there. So here I'm compromised. I work to straighten that out. I can bend one leg, bend the other. And reach tall through the spine. And one leg down, two legs down. And come out. Shifting forward. And shifting back. So I said you could do basket here, it's the same thing. Some people have uh, an affinity to one or the other. So I'll show you just for the same, same idea. I come down to my forearms, make my little basket or cup for my headstand. Slide in my head. It's the same thing. I'm already just a little bit lower. I lift up, one knee, two knees. This one has a little bit narrower base because your 
forearms are your base and not your hands and bicep area. Much tighter base. Good. Child's pose. Cobra. So for this round here, let's try to pick both feet up at the same time. We'll do two of them. Head comes down. I'm looking through my legs. Hips come up because I'm driving my hips. I just pick up both feet. Both feet come down and come out. Ah. Melt. Cobra. One more. Don't get cocky, you'll fall forward. So if you're in your living room and you're gonna topple down, make sure you got space before you go up or you can use the wall if you have that. There. Head down. Hips lift. Hips keep lifting. Bending my legs. Still lifting my hips. And coming down. Good. Let's take a moment. Grab a sip. I think we can do quickly and safely two more variations. We'll go egg and then up. Egg and down is our next iteration. Let's say, let's aim for three in the interest of time. And if you're at home doing this later, do as many as you like, as long as you feel comfortable. Have fun. Let's see. So what we just did, we put both feet up. If you feel better doing one leg than another, do that. But you're gonna come to your egg and then extend your feet up. Tuck in your shirt, if you like. Maybe no one's watching. Maybe everyone's watching. So let's come through the same flow. Articulating our spine through child's pose. Through our cobra. Sitting back. Again, elbows are hugging in. Tucking the toes, lift. Hips over shoulders. Bring both feet up, hips lift. Legs extend. Find your balance. Knees come down. Legs extend. Knees come down. Melting into my child's pose. Shifting forward. Sitting back. Diving down. Legs. Hips. Knees bend. Knees extend. Knees, feet, knees land, melting down. Pulling forward, hips dip, sitting back. Elbows hug in, head comes down. I start lifting, extending through the spine. My feet float forward. I'm still lifting, pointing my butthole at the ceiling, bending my knees. Kick the feet up, drive them straight up. I'm still lifting through my body. And then knees come down. Legs extend. And I come out. Shifting forward. And sending it back. Good. This next one will be harder. It's a little bit more demanding on the core. We're gonna keep our legs out like an L and then we'll come up. So you can feel free not to come all the way up. This sets your, your weight off to the side. So you might feel a little less stable coming up, but we're experimenting, we're playing here. Worst case, you start to lose it, bring your feet down. Okay, end of story. So let's go through the child's pose. Shifting forward, hips dip. 
Sitting back, same base. Head thighs in, legs extend. As my hips stack over my shoulders, I'm just gonna lift both heels. There's my L. If I'm feeling comfortable, I'll come all the way up. And then I can come back to my L, land my feet, come back to my knees, find my child's pose. You don't have to stay up as long. You don't have to go all the way up. You could just lift your feet an inch off the ground if you would like. Sitting up, head comes down. This could be enough, but part of the keys are pulling your hips to your shoulders and then lifting. Using control, everyone falls at some point. So make sure your area is clear. Coming down. Child's pose. Cobra. Ah. You can roll out the neck a little. And we'll sit back. And why not? This will be our last one of these. So we'll come up and we'll hold it for a bit. See what happens. However you want to get there. However you want to stay. Try to control your breath. Keep lifting strong. Driving up through the ceiling. Core engaged. Then relax. If it's something you're having trouble with, you can do this back to the wall. You can do it face to the wall and walk your feet up. And we'll come down. Always try to land with control. And we'll cycle through once more through our cobra. And we'll hang out in our child's pose. Coming through, find that cobra once more. And this time when we sit up, I'm just gonna swing my legs out to the side and out to the front. Good. Legs out to the front, sitting up nice and tall. We'll inhale the arms up and we'll cross. I'm gonna reach right arm forward, left arm back. Inhaling up and switching left arm forward, right arm back. I'm not going to tip forward here just for a variation. I'm going to work on that nice straight spine. Inhaling up, exhaling over. Inhaling up and we'll fold forward. Again, I'm going to drive through the chest, we relax the shoulders here, and we can bring our ears, left ear to left shoulder, right ear to right shoulder, and I'm going to go chin to chest, inhale, coming to that flat back, and exhale around, inhale up, exhale around. Good, coming up. Let's bring both soles together, come into a butterfly stretch. And for, for funsies, I'm going to take my hand, weave it underneath, and touch my foot. If that's not there, I'm just going to cup the back of my shins and hold. And then like a bicep curl. I use that to pull myself in. If you can reach further, you can make a foot hand sandwich. And the same thing, I'm gonna curl in by using and pulling through my arms. I'm not diving my head down and bringing my chest forward. Whatever that means for you, 
wherever you end up is fine. It's a process. It's a journey. It's got ups and downs. Fuck it. Just do some shit. Good. We'll release it a little bit, and then wherever you're at, let's try a little bit further. Think of working out. You do sets. You increase your weight a little bit, increase, increase your reps, and we'll pull. Gently. And we'll release. We'll do one more. We'll shake it out first. And then we'll come right back in wherever you were. If you were at the shins, even if you're over the shins, who gives a shit? Just do stuff. Cup the feet, pull it down, and let's go. Or release right leg long and we're gonna swing to our right side to our forearm take hold of my left shin and just come into a quad stretch trying not to let my knee go up aiming it parallel with the other and then what we can do to add a little bit is drive that hip forward I'm not collapsing in my shoulder. I'm pressing through. If that's you're tuckered out, you can come down to the shoulder. Driving the hip forward. Let's see if we can come back to where we were. So I'm gonna come up forearm, knee in, and sit and switch. Taking hold of my shin, planting the hand, and just slide it through. Shout out Burt Reynolds. Again, I'm gonna drive that hip forward, pressing through the shoulder. Trying not to let the knee point up. And if we want, we can come back down, take the whole shoulder out of the game. We'll do one more each side, quick, just for fun transition purposes. I'm going to release, peel up, switch, and come over. Three, two, one. I release and kick. Rock to my cheeks. Switch my feet. Chop and stretch. Come back to our seated position. Come up to a bent sit, both knees up. And let's do three rocks and reaches. So round spine, just have fun with it. Do exaggerate or inhale, big deep inhale. And then we'll exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, think of filling your belly, your chest, your throat, and release throat, belly, chest. We'll come up, come into whatever comfortable seated position you like, and we'll inhale for three. Arms sweeping down, shoulders relax, sweeping up. And down. One more. This time I'll bring my palms together. Elbows can squeeze in. And then we'll release it out. And that is class. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you next week or another time.
check out the channel if you are watching it on YouTube later. And let me know if you enjoyed it, hated it, or whatnot. Either way, have a good time.